Hey, Tom, that upstart competitor was a bit more than that. It, uh, uh, it was led by your former American CEO and uh, it had on its board, uh, but that was Bob Moore, and it had on its board John Fletcher, who was an Australian CEO of uh, Rambles at one time. So uh, this was a, and it used plastic pallets instead of wooden pallets. Uh, they went bankrupt last month. Um, first of all, where did they go wrong and how does their bankruptcy help you? Well, I mean, I'll just start from the beginning that, you know, I, I don't know Bob Moore or, or, or Fletcher at all. So these are individuals who, you know, have a history with our company that predates me. Um, I, I think that generally people find intrigue in all this. It means very little to me. Uh, the way I view this is we have a competitor and that competitor is trying to take something I think is rightfully ours. So whether they have a history or, or not with us is completely irrelevant to me. Um, but what they did have is they had a, a different offering to a set of customers that were unhappy with us. Um, so irrespective of their background or where they come from, we allowed them to come into our market because we didn't satisfy our customers. It's plain and simple. Um, and with that open opportunity, they knew where to attack because they did know the business fairly well. I think the area that they failed in is fundamentally the business model didn't work. Um, they, they came to market with a much more expensive asset um, than we provide to the market. And it really didn't offer anything additional uh, to the consumer. And that was proven by the fact that they got no pricing premium. So they, more, they brought a more expensive asset, same, mo same marketplace, same pricing structure. And over time, we always felt that the business model itself would, would not be sustainable. Um, but in the early days when they were taking market share, our focus was really on, on regaining our own stature in the face of the customer. Tom, there's a, a pesky view amongst some of the analysts that you've been so successful in winning over and winning back major customers in North America that some flattening of the growth rate in that wooden pallets business is inevitable. I assume you've got a response to that. Yeah, look, I, I don't believe that, that we're, we're without plenty of growth opportunities in the United States. I mean, if you look at that business, that business is a single SKU business. We offer a 48 by 40 wooden pallet, and we basically have one pricing model. What we've been really focusing on is, is really a multiple step process of recovery. The first step was to fix what was broken. And I think if you look at the last three or four years, you'd have to say that the team has done a heck of a job doing exactly that. So we've recovered a lot of our lost customers. We fixed the quality, still on a trajectory to improve still, but we got to a place where our customers are more satisfied with us. And so we fixed what was broken, to be very direct. But what we haven't delivered is the diversification that we're delivering in other markets. And this has to do with a whole series of supply chain solutions in terms of last mile, in terms of display platforms, and all of that work is underway. And that's going to accelerate the growth for us. I think what the market is seeing in, in our guidance in 14, in FY13, we did a heck of a job winning customers back. Um, we're not projecting that same level of market share growth in the coming year. And I think that's brought um, uh, you know, our guidance down a little bit, but we are we have plenty of opportunities to, gr to grow well beyond FY14, and the team is, is absolutely committed to that.